Um, the reason for me uh, writing this uh, letter, uh, I think we can all agree that um, often when the political uh, spinning uh, starts from the first casualties is, uh, is the truth. And um, I, I, I live on St. Clair. I live four doors away from St. Clair. Uh, I've lived there for a very long time, and certainly I have a very different experience of St. Clair than has been reported in the newspapers and in the media over the last little while as pushed by uh, some of our, our colleagues. Um, I remember the day when we had dollar stores, several dollar stores on each block on St. Clair. I remember the days when no developer would come and, uh, and speak with, uh, with me as the local councillor about pursuing uh, business opportunities on the street. I remember the days when it was easier for me to walk to the St. Clair West subway station rather than wait for a streetcar because the streetcar was always jammed, jammed with people and then couldn't get through the mixed traffic. That's my experience. Other people have different perceptions and perhaps different experiences. We need to find a way to get beyond the anecdotes, including mine, fair enough, including others, and get that third party objective assessment on uh, St. Clair itself. We need a third party review. We need to figure out what the right metrics would be to determine whether it was a success and in which way it was a success and if it was a failure, in which ways it was a failure. We've always wanted to do this and certainly uh, during the days of when I was on the commission, it was always part of the work plan that after a couple of years of the St. Clair uh, project running, that it would be appropriate to do, uh, do some uh, analysis on whether it was beneficial or not. Um, there are all kinds of metrics that can be used in the letter. I point to, uh, point to some. Uh, you could do it based on all of these factors. In fact, I think it would be wise to do it on all these and other factors and other metrics. And those metrics can be uh, can come together relying on some work from the Canadian River Transit Association, CUDA, or the American Public Transit Association, or the uh, Union Internationale de Transport Public. They all have uh, methodologies uh, to study these projects and whether they've been successful or not. Uh, a third party takes it away from the political rhetoric and puts it in the realm of evidence-based evaluation. So you could look at ridership statistics, you could look at vehicle uh, pass-throughs, you could look at operating costs, you could look at accident statistics, uh, you could look at building permits, you could look at tax revenue from uh, new buildings that have uh, gone forward. You could look at storefront rental rates. Uh, you could look at parking uh, availability before and after. All of those are, and others are appropriate to the metrics. I think uh, in doing such a study, it would help us on St. <laughs> I didn't know it was that good. <laughs> it, would put an, it would put an end to the Jewish snoring. <laughs> that's good, that's good, that's good. You're not the first to <laughs> You should talk to his wife. <laughs> such a third party review would help us on St. Clair put a closure to this. We want to get on with the living on St. Clair and put this project behind us, find out what worked. If it didn't work in certain areas, let us try to correct the, those, uh, those deficiencies. But there's another payoff, and this is why I think it's a worthwhile investment. We are about to engage uh, on a building project, on a number of building projects, and we need to establish, well, what are the metrics that we will use to evaluate their success on Shepherd, on Finch, on Eddington? And I think at this point, we can look at gathering the kinds of data that we would be able to use before that we could measure against the data afterwards. Um, and so figuring out the methodological pieces now 
uh, using St. Clair as the template, St. Clair is a great template, um, we can uh, use it and benefit it, benefit uh, on a go forward basis. So my request is that uh, that uh, you do this. That, uh, it's not an audit, but it is a review. Yes, we have done a review on the project uh, piece of it. Um, there was a there was a tweet saying we've already done this. No, we haven't done this. What we did do as the TTC was we looked at project implementation, and uh, staff looked at things that we did well and staff uh, things that we didn't do well, and they're using those learnings on Eglinton. I know for a fact that they're using those learnings uh, on, uh, on Eglinton. This is basically looking at the product. The product, what we had before, the product that we have now, and evaluating its success or lack thereof. And doing it from a third party point of view, I think will help us uh, put, a, put an end to the, uh, to the spinning and focus on, imagine that, evidence-based decision making and evidence-based planning as we move forward to other projects. So Thank make you. my petition, and actually the wording is in the last second last paragraph if someone would be kind enough to take care of it. Yeah, I think the vice chair is going to take care of it. Thank you very much. Okay. And, uh, this is a project to improve transit um, in a congested corridor of the city, and it, it has achieved that, and there's also been some other things that maybe we would do differently. And in fact, the Witchwood, if you look at the Witchwood Heights Business Improvement Area Association, on February 10th, they put actually out a request for proposal to hire a marketing firm. And in their, they said the greatest challenge, and I quote from their RFP, not a city RFP, the, this is a BIA. The St. Clair right-of-way project has resulted in much negative publicity for the area in recent years. The project is generally referred to as a quote fiasco that snarled traffic for years and turned people off of visiting this area as traffic congestion and lack of parking became, became synonymous with St. Clair West. Unfortunately, um, the mayor continues to refer to St. Clair West as an epic failure, so we need to take this into consideration if we roll out a marketing campaign that at least incidentally, if not directly, helps to reposition the public perception of its neighborhood. So although we may be believers, there's a general public out there who, who who tends to view St. Clair in a very negative way to the point that the businesses that we rely on to keep that street vibrant are asking for us to re help them, or they're asking for help to rebrand that street. So what the Vice Chair's motion does is it just asks our staff to come back with, could we do this work, how much would it cost? You know, it's not, it's for the, it's not just for the councillor. The councillor's representing his area, and the councillor's representing the local businesses in the area. Okay. So if we can just move that, advance that to one more month to see if we can do that work, I think it would be in our interest. And it may be done in the house in the end. Maybe it is a matter of pulling together what we already know, but at least let's have that opportunity. Thank you.